Hello, second year. How are you today? I hope you are happy. I'm fine. Well, today is Monday, the 28th of September. We are going to finish Unit 12. Yes, you must study because next class you are going to have uh, the revision in Unit 12. We are going to check pages from the activity book 92, 93, 94 and 95. Yes, and you have to check the corrections, open your files, yes, and check the correction of um, the video of three minutes about the destination, about the things you should and shouldn't do, okay? Cada uno chequea sus videos. Mucho mejor, algunos han mejorado muy notablemente. Se está viendo esa organización, ¿sí? Ese brainstorming de ideas primero antes de uh, play record, yes, okay? Así que así debe seguir. Muy bien. Good. La única manera de eh, seguir adelante, de mejorar, es enviando los trabajos, viendo, recibiendo tus correcciones, ¿sí? mejorando todos esos, esos puntos, ¿sí? a mejorar que siempre se les ponen en las corrections. ¿Ok? So, let's go. Page, page 92, exercises 1, 2, 1, 3. Te voy a poner un rato frente a la cámara y vos lo vas a corregir para que no haya errores. Ya que tenemos cantidades. Yes, one, two, and three, que están marcados ahí. Ok, ponele pausa. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Right. So, let's go to um, page 93. 93. Exercise six, yes, conditional one, if present plus, plus will, okay? If present plus, plus present is conditional zero, yes, if I go to school, I study, if I win the lottery, I buy a lot of things for my family. Conditional one, if plus present plus will or won't, okay? If I study, I will pass the exam. If I don't study, I won't pass the exam. Okay, is it clear? Right, so let's go to page 93, exercise 6. Okay, right. Cars will, houses will, children won't, the summer won't, the winter will, people won't. Okay, page 94, page 94. Okay. Exercises one, two, and three. Okay, good, good, good. One, island. Two, ocean. Three, forest. Four, mountain. Five, lake. Six, ocean, uh, sea. Seven, river. Eight, desert. Number two, there. Number two, there. Number three, zero, four, zero article, zero article. Number six, the, seven, zero article, eight, zero article. Nine, the, ten, zero article. Eleven, the, twelve, zero article. Thirteen, the, fourteen, the, fifteen, the. Exercise three, acordate. D, yes, cuando viene una palabra, viene una palabra que comienza con vocal. D, cuando comienza con otra, con consonante, por ejemplo. Which ocean, ocean is Madagascar in? Where is Lake Bostock? Where is Mount Ararat? Repetition. Which, is, which ocean is Madagascar in? Four. Where is Lake Bostock? Six. Where is Mount Ararat? Okay. Page 95, exercise 5, 1B, 2D, 3A, 4C, and 5E. Is it clear? So bye-bye correction. So I want you to go now very quickly. I want you to put the date on pages 146, 147, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, that is the review, yes, the short review that prepares you 
for the revision for next class. Okay? Good. So, uh, are you ready? Yes? Okay. Good, good, good. I will project you. I uh, will project some, some pictures here. Yes? And you will tell me what you think. Where do you think people will live in the future? What do you think? What do you think? Where do you think people will live in the future? Yes, okay. So this is the, the question for now. Do you think people will live in the sky? In the Antarctica? Yes, where? we are okay so this is the question where do you think people will live in the future yes near the Sun on Mars in the sky on the moon on the sea in the Antarctica yes do you think people will choose these places? Do you have? Do you think they will live in another place? Yes. Or do you think they will choose uh, these places shown here in the picture? In the sky, near the sun, on Mars, in Antarctica, on the sea, on the moon, where? Yes. Do you have, have you thought any other places? Yes. Think about that. Speak at home. Yes. Yes, definitely. People will live on Mars. Yes, okay. Possible, but I'm not sure people will live on the moon. Yes, or no. People will never live on Mars. Yes, people will never, yes, will never. Will never live in the sky. Yes, so do you have, have you thought about any other places where people will live in the future? So I want you to look at the picture. Yes. And think about that. Do you think we will live anywhere else in the future? Yes, yeah, because we named some places here. But do you think people will live any, anywhere else in the future? So I want you to think about that. Answer this question at home, okay? So now we are going to go to the reading. Yes, to the reading. You are going to do the activity there. The reading activity. Yes, okay. Right? Yes, okay. You will do exercises three, exercises four, exercises five. Yes, okay. Uh, seven. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Yes, and eight. Yes, okay. And nine, of course, yes. And the speaking part, it says, think of a place you would like to uh, visit and tell your partner, yes, okay? Think about a place you would like to visit, yes, okay? I would like to visit uh, Hawaii, yes, because I think this is a good place uh, for visiting. Uh, this is a good place for seeing the environment, seeing the nature, yes, seeing nature, uh, seeing uh, green places, breeze, yes, uh, the, uh, the smell, I don't know, the smell, breathe the sea, yes, the smell of the sea, be in contact with nature, for being in contact, in contact with nature, yes, yeah? so I would like to go to Hawaii, yes, yeah? and I would like to have, um, I would like to uh, have contact with local people, yes, okay, because they have a very interesting culture, yes, okay, so now it's your turn, you have to say, this is exercise 10, the three, uh, I put three minutes video because it's for talking, yes, talk at home and say, describe at home one place you would like to visit, okay, I would like to visit the moon because, yes, is it clear, right, so, Let's go to exercises three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Is it clear? Yes, right, right, right.
Good, good, good. Good. So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? So pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Right. So you have a very, very nice reading there, looking for a new earth. Yes, okay. And, okay, number three. Water, air, and rock. And rock. Number three, it's near a start. Scientists think it has water and rock and temperature are quite similar to temperature temperatures on Earth and the pole. Yes, okay. Number four, it's bigger, it has a shorter, it has shorter years, okay? Good. Well, that was um, exercise three, sorry, sorry, three. One C, two A, three D, four E, five B. Repetition. Exercise three from page 146. One C, two A, 3D, 4E, 5B. Put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong, okay? One, exercise four. One, C, two, A, a planet, 3D, star, going around the planet on a star. Yes, okay? Four, yes, uh, 3B. Yes, okay, so you have 1C, 2A, 3B, yes, star is a large round object of burning gas in space, for example, the sun. Yes, okay, 4D, 4D, yes, 5F, rock, the solid part of the earth or a planet. And 6E, air, the gas humans breathe. Yes, okay. Exercise five. Ahora sí. A start and then a planet that is good, a good distance from the star. Two, water and air and rock. Three, it's near a star. Scientists think it has water and rock and temperatures are quite similar to uh, temperatures on Earth and the poles. Four, it's bigger, it has shorter years. Exercise seven. In my opinion, this is your opinion, yes, okay? Do you think it's important to find a new Earth? Can you imagine life on another planet? Yes, okay? So, you have, I think, I don't think, in my opinion, okay? These are uh, the first things, uh, the, the sentences, yes, okay, that you must say when you are giving your opinion, okay? In my opinion, the phrases, pardon. I think, I don't think, yes, okay? I don't think people will go to live in the sky. Uh, in my opinion, people will live near the sun. It's not possible, yes, okay? Good. Well. So, uh, it says, in my opinion, we should think about uh, things on Earth. I think it's important because we want to know about the universe. Number two, I think it's possible, but not likely. Yes, okay. Can you imagine life on another planet? Yes, I think there is life in another, on another planet. But, as our universe is very big, yes, we don't know yet. Is it clear? Yes? But, uh, of course, the universe is very, very big. And I don't think we are the only uh, people, yes, living here. Yes? Okay? I think it is very big. So I think there is a kind of uh, life, yes, on the other places. Okay? Good. So then we have how... Yes, age. ¿Cómo preguntamos con how? Ojo acá, la frase es con how. Cuando voy a preguntar cuántos años, ya sabemos que preguntamos how old. Yes, okay. And then tenemos period of time. 
How long? Muy bien. How long? How long have you studied English? How long have you studied English? How old are you? How old were you when you started learning English? Is it clear? Después tenemos the distance. Yes, the distance. How far? Yes, cuando queremos preguntar um, cuán lejos o cuán cerca está una cosa. How far is your house? Yes, how near uh, is the kiosk? The kiosk in this uh, block. For example, is it clear? When you want to talk about uh, the way to do something, how? Mm -hmm. La manera de hacer algo, how? How can I do it? Yes? Okay, first of all, you have to cross uh, the street, or first of all, you have to cut um, the cars in dices, yes? Okay? How? Go. Uh, después tenemos uh, the number, yes? The number, how many? How many? Yes, is it clear? Right? How many? And then we have price of quantity. How much? Yes, y acá viene a entrar la gramática que ya sabemos que es how many para contables y how much para uncountable. How much money have you got? How many oranges? Yes, how many places? Will you visit? Is it clear? So, entonces acá tenemos todos los hashtag, yes, con how, yes, ok, For, para edades, yes, ok, ages, then you have a period of time, how long, for distances, about how to do something, yes, the way, ok, we have uh, the price, uh, the amount, perdón, Yes, ok, la cantidad, quantity and price, yes, is it clear? Así que atención ahí, y ahora viene la primera parte, ok, nueve, how old, B, how long, C, how far, how near, yes, D, how, yes, ok, then how many, yes, and how much. Con cada uno de estos, de estas frases, quiero que escribas un ejemplo en tu, en tu cuaderno. How old are you? How old were you when you started learning English? How long have you? Acuérdate que el how long está muy presente en el presente perfecto. Cuando voy a preguntar por cuánto tiempo. How long have you studied English? I have studied for six years. How long have you learned? Yes, this... Uh, Language. I have learned this language since da da da. Okay, is it clear? How far? How far is your house? How near is Carrefour from here? Yes. How can I do this? I don't know how to do this exercise. How many apples have you got? How many chairs are there in this classroom? Yes. How much money have you got? How much money do I have to pay? Un ejemplo con cada uno. One example, each one. Aparte de lo que me pide aquí, ¿ok? Que es poner en orden nomás, ¿ok? So, let's go very quickly to page 148 and 149. So, uh, we are going to, yes, ¿ok? You are going to read on that page about uh, Earth Day. Yes, ¿ok? So, what activities do you do on Earth Day? Yes, what activities do people do on Earth Day? Yes, so if you go to Earth Day, what activities will you do? Ahí estoy usando el condicional uno. If you go to Earth Day, uh, what activities? Yes, what activities will you do? I'm making some notes. Yes, okay. So, um... I want you to think about that. I want you to look at the at the poster. I have the announcement I have now there. Yes, okay. And we're going to talk about what activities um, you are going to what activities do people do if you go to Earth Day? Yes, what activities do you do on Earth Day? Yes, and then we're going to read when and where the first Earth Day is and why did people go to it. Okay, is it clear? Yes, so we're going to see the activities there, right? 
So on Earth Day, I'm going to turn off the lights. On Earth Day, acá tenés todo el vocabulario que podés usar porque a vos te va a tocar hacer un announcement. Yes, sobre Earth Day. Hay un ejemplo también. Yes, hay un ejemplo aquí sobre cómo dar una presentation. Y aquí, ¿sí? Sobre cómo hacer un announcement. Announcing an event. ¿Ok? Más el que te vamos a presentar. ¿Ok? Que te vamos a... Te voy a, a presentar ahí. Pero esto me da ideas para hacer mi um, announcement. ¿Es clear? Right? Ok. Good, good, good. So that is better. So if you go to Earth Day, you will plant a tree. Yes, okay. Read it, please. You will go to school or work by bike on Earth Day. Well, you should do, you should go to school by bike or uh, walking every day, not only on Earth Day. Yes, okay. But, well, at least on that day. Uh, you will unplug, yes, your devices. Yes, okay. Is it clear? You will um, plant a tree. You won't use plastic for a day. So, these are all the activities people do on Earth Day. Yes, okay, is it clear? Uh, plant a tree. Uh, people don't use plastic for a day. Unplug devices, recycle, go to school. They don't use the public transport, yes, or uh, anything that pollutes, can pollute. Anything that can pollute the air, yes, okay? So, these are the things people do on Earth Day, okay? So, we are going to go to another projection now, yes? There we are. It's the same one, the same, uh, the same that you have there. Okay. So in class, when you come back, we are going to do that. We are going to do this, but practice at home. You have to think about uh, a topic. Can be Earth Day, for example, this one, and you have to say uh, the di these different things. Uh, why people go there? When it is? When? Uh, when and where, yes, uh, it is, and why people go there, yes, why? Because they want to do recycle, because they want to look after the environment, yes, okay? Um, first of all, when you are presenting a topic, you have to introduce yourself, okay? Introduce yourself, okay? Entonces, tenemos eso de cuando hablamos. Cuando vamos a hablar sobre un tópico, cuando vamos a dar una presentación, ¿qué es lo que primero hacemos? Soy fulanita, soy de tal cosa, ¿ok? Hello, I'm Ruth, yes, and I'm going to talk about, yes, Earth Day, yes, ¿ok? Uh, vamos a decir, ¿cuándo toma lugar? When and where, yes, ¿ok? Um, the history, yes, ¿ok? Uh, we're going to talk about all the history, when and where uh, it is, Yes, why people go there. And then, at the end, you are going to say if you like it or not. Yes, okay, good. And this is a very good example of a presentation. Yes, it's the same. It's the same as the, the one you have there in your book. Okay, on April the 22nd is Earth Day. Yes, for one day of the year, don't, no leen ustedes, ustedes ya tienen preparada la presentación. For one day in the year, yes, okay, one day every year, people in different countries help the earth. For example, what activities do they do? They plant a tree, yes, uh, they don't use the car, they don't use the public.
public transport, yes, okay, they go to work on foot, they go to school um, by bike, they, uh, I, I have already said they plant a tree, yes, they plant a tree, yes, okay, um, they pick up rubbish, they pick up rubbish from the seas, from the lakes, yes, okay, the first day was uh, on April the 22nd in 19. 70. Y ahí estoy diciendo la historia de este tema que yo estoy presentando. Es como las presentaciones que hacíamos en la escuela. Yes? Okay. The first day uh, that, they that people celebrated the uh, Earth Day was on, yes, the 22nd of April in 1970 in the USA. Over 20 million people went to an Earth Day in their city. There were politicians, teachers, okay, artists, musicians, musicians, as one person said, we had fun, but we also wanted to help Earth, yes, the Earth and the environment. So they get together, they go together, yes, they had fun, but they also helped, yes, the environment, the Earth, yes, and the first Earth Day, was on the 22nd of April in 1970 in the USA. Many people got together, yes, to enjoy, to have fun, but also, yes, to um, look after the environment, yes, clear, clean the rivers, clean um, the rubbish, pick up the rubbish from the rivers, from the lakes, plant a tree, yes, okay. Uh, write different kind of messages for the earth, yes, okay? So, uh, and plug devices, yes, because when you use your devices, your cell phone, and you plug it, yes, okay, you are contaminating, yes, you are polluting the earth, but sometimes, or most of the time, we forget about it, yes, so this is a presentation. También podemos hacer presentaciones de diferentes tipos, del cruce de los Andes, uh, algún tópico que te guste de, de ciencia o algo. Esto es una presentation. Las presentaciones son más largas, pero en este caso es una short presentation, ¿ok? Entonces ahí tenemos un claro ejemplo de cómo hacer una presentación. ¿Qué decimos? First of all, you introduce yourself, you say who you are, yes, de qué curso sos, si perteneces a la escuela o algo, yes, ¿ok? And then you talk about history, yes, uh, when, was, uh, when was the first Earth Day celebrated, yes, Then you say important things about uh, this um, celebration, for example, what people do, why people go there, and finally you say if you like it or not. I like Earth Day because we can be conscious about um, what things we can do to look after the environment. Y después cerrar con si te gusta o no te gusta. Is it clear? Well, so. You are going to do um, exercise one. Lo hicimos juntos ahora en la parte de talking. We are going to go to the listening. Yes. We are going to see the expressions there. Yes. Quiero que estén subrayadas las expresiones. Sí. Todo cuadrito que vea, voy a subrayar. Yes. The expressions giving a presentation que te van a ayudar para dar una presentación. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio two. Subrayamos el ejercicio three. Yes. Okay. Number the, the expression, vamos a ponerle el número. Yes, ok. Y después no, vamos, no vas a hacer una presentación porque esto teníamos preparado para hacer en clase, ¿sí? Generalmente hacen presentaciones sobre otros temas. Yes, como por ejemplo las cosas que teníamos que hacer y que no teníamos que hacer si vamos a un lugar. Ok. Uh, vamos a ir a how to uh, write an announcement. Esto sí, porque sí van a hacer un announcement. Yes, ok. Para la clase que viene. Luego nos vamos a la page 150 y ahí estamos, ok, is it clear? Right, so let's go very quickly to the listening, so good morning and thank you for coming, my name is David and I'm from Brazil, today I'd like to talk about an important day in my year called Earth Day, first of all, Earth Day began on April the 22nd in 1970, Over 20 million people went to Earth Day in different cities across the USA. There were politicians, teacher, teachers, artists, and musicians. Since that day, since that day, in 1920, Earth Day has become famous all over the world. Yes, 
nowadays, yes, and you have many, 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 many. Okay, nowadays, more than 175 countries have an Earth Day. Lots of people do different things. Last year, in last year, people in China planted many trees, many, many new trees. In New Orleans, in the USA, they, they put energy efficient, a lot of energy efficient, efficient bulbs into houses. And finally, in my country, a lot of people picked up rubbish in the cities and in the countryside. In conclusion, I really think Earth Day is important. Next year, I hope you will do something on Earth Day. Thank you very much for listening. Yes, okay? Good. Well, you know what are, are um, energy efficient uh, bulbs? Yes, so last um, energy, energy efficient Bulbs, bulbs, son las, eh, los focos de bajo consumo. Cambian en todas las casas. Oh my God, that is great. Yes, okay, good. So it's, they start consuming less energy and it helps the environment. Yes, it doesn't go. No, it doesn't. Well, good. So, exercise two, exercise two. Are you there? One, A, A, sorry, two, A and B, A and B, three, B, three, B, four, A and B, four, A and B, and five, A, yes, okay? 5a so well you're not going to listen to the expression because i'm having problem with this and finally in my country talk today i'd like to talk about first of all nowadays in conclusion i really think yes okay good morning thank you thank you for coming yes my name is mm -mm -mm. i'm from mm -mm -mm. Yes, and then at the end, okay, thank you for coming and listening to my presentation, okay? Good, so we are going to, uh, I don't have another listening more, thanks God, yes, thanks God. Uh, I'm going to present, yes, uh, how, I'm going to show you how you have to write your announcement, yes, okay? And it says, in exercise one, an announcement gives us information about an event, which of these announcements do you often read? Have you ever written one? Okay, another for a concert or a film? Yes, okay, a poster for charity for a charity event? An invitation to a friend's party. Nosotros ya hicimos una de estas uh, invitation cards, announcements, ¿sí? Con que se nos pierde algo, uh, cuando invitamos a un cumpleaños, cuando recibimos... Uh, um, un nuevo integrante en la familia, yes, so this is another kind, okay? An email from work or school about meeting, a notice at the gym about exercises classes, okay? So, uh, we're going to go there, I'm going to show you. It is the same, the same, the same one. Okay, the same you have there on your book. Yes, but now I project here. Okay, is it clear? Okay, and it says, who is organizing the event? Yes, so these are the important things that you have to take into account. Yes, that you have to take into account when you are writing. Yes, um, when you are writing your uh, announcement. Is it clear? Right? Okay. So who is organizing the event? What is it? Where is it? I will clean the board. The board. Yes? I will clean the board. Yes? Okay? It will be better for me to read. Okay? You already know this. Okay? Right? Who is organizing the event? 
Where is it? What day? It is on. Yes, is it on? What time does it start and end? Yes, okay. So, who is organizing? What is it? Where is it? What date is it? What date? It is on. Is it on? What time does it start and end? How much does it cost? Yes. What activities are there? What activities you can do there? Yes, in that event. Is there car parking or transport? This is very important. These things are very important. Yes, because people want to know how they can get there. Yes, okay. Or if they go by bus, public transport, yes, or if they have, if they can take their car. Why is it happening? Uh, what can you buy? Is there food and drink? Yes, where you can read more information, okay? Dice que a veces sale la del Oktoberfest, por, ex, por ejemplo, okay? Entonces, en este caso tenemos Earth Day, yes, okay? Plant a hundred trees around uh, no market, town center, theater, music, art, by local performance, uh, performers and artists, yes, okay? Presentations about how to help the environment. Shop selling environmentally friendly products. O sea, todo lo que se va a vender ahí va a ser environmentally friendly products. Yes, okay. Hot and cold food. ¿Qué clase de comida hay? Ahí lo tienen. Entrance free. Okay, you don't have to pay. It's for free. Everyone, welcome to Earth Day Celebration New Market Park on April the 22nd. Yes, okay www bla 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 dot com for more information okay entonces siempre hay una frase welcome earth day you are invited to the most beautiful day on earth yes okay so you have to make yes the sentence yes okay a kind of logo can be yes okay look this is a beautiful there is a beautiful drawing there representing our Earth, yes, okay, the Earth. So the entrance is free there, yes, okay. The Earth Day with different colors, yes, okay. And it says New Market Inf uh, Environmental and Conservation Group. Is it clear? Right, so, así quiero que me hagan el que tienen que hacer, ¿sí? Tenemos todos los pasos, ¿sí? Los pasos tenés arriba para no olvidarte ¿De qué cosas tenemos que incluir en un um, announcement? ¿Ok? En este caso te vamos a anunciar un evento. Vamos a anunciar este. ¿Qué evento vamos a anunciar? ¿Ok? Vamos a anunciar este evento. ¿Ok? It says, write the information. Vos ya tenés el dibujito, lo podés arreglar más porque es el de la página 98. Write the important information from the text in exercise 1B on this poster. ¿Ok? Y tenemos toda la información aquí. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Entonces, toda esa información vos la vas a traspasar aquí. La vas a poner aquí. Pero en forma de cuál? De el que te mostré ahí. Haciendo. ¿Yes? Ese announcement con colores, con diferentes tipos de letra, ¿yes? ¿está? Así que eso es lo que te pido para, para, para la clase que viene. Cuando esté terminado esto, primero vas a leer la información porque de acá vas a sacar esa información que tienes que trasladar aquí, así como está aquí. When you finish this, foto PDF, nombre, fecha de entrega, fecha de eh, cuando pedimos y fecha de entrega, más nombre del alumno y me lo envías. Ahora sí, vamos rapidito a la page 152. 152. Entonces, atención. 146, 147, 148, 149 y 152 es la página. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Las páginas que vamos a trabajar. 152, que es la revision. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. So we have exercise one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yes, okay. 
So now is the time that you do the activities. Least then, yes, do the activities. Yes, pause the video. Yes, okay. Do the activities and then, okay. So let's go there. Yes, right, right, right. Good. Shall we go? Right. Remember, ¿cuándo vamos a usar ese will? ¿Sí? Vamos a usar el will más el verbo en infinitivo. ¿Sí? I will go, I will study, I will cook. Para expresar el futuro. ¿Está? Vos sabías del de verbo go, el go with you. Pero ahora sí te suma este tiempo verbal que también lo usas en el condicional 1. ¿Yes? Así que atención. Good. One will, two won, three will, four will o want, five won't will, perdón, en el cuatro tenemos dos, ¿eh? Ok, good. Mm -hmm. Four will want, five will want, six will, seven will. Exercise two. Estudiate también cuando usamos de, cuando usamos, cuando no usamos. Zero article. De, to. Zero. De, Atlantic Ocean, de Pacific Ocean, con el nombre de océanos. Five. Four, perdón. De, five, zero. No decimos con nombre de los continentes, de África, no. África. ¿Ok? Six, de. 7, 0, and 8, there. Exercise 3. This is personal. In the future, which places do you think you will visit on the earth? I will, and this is personal, lo que vos pusiste. I will visit the moon, I will visit... Uh, Uh, the Antarctica, yes, I will visit the sun, yes, okay, I think it's, it won't be possible. Okay, good. Exercise four. One, kilometers, square kilometers. Two, degrees Celsius, degrees centigrade. Three kilograms, four meters and five percent. Exercise five. Big, how big? Two, how warm? Three, how tall? Cuán alto, cuán largo, cuán grande? Yes, how tall? And four, how many? Exercise six. Sea, river, island, desert. Exercise eight. The first you, the, three am, four has, five to, six your. Yes, okay. Well, that was all. Study for next class. We have finished the book. Well done for you. We have finished the book. Yes, so now you have to study. Yes, okay, for the revision. The revision next class, okay? So study for the revision. Do the pages from the activity book and write your announcement. El que está en el activity book. Con la información de arriba. Nos da la información para que podamos hacer el announcement y ya nos da el dibujito. Te toca hacerle todo el tema de las letras, pintarlo, ¿sí? dejarlo súper lindo, ¿ok? Súper, súper beautiful, ¿ok? ¡Mua! See you next class. Bye, bye. Study.